hi it welcome back to my channel and as you know last class we were discussing about factorization factorization by using identities you know and in the in this chapter we have discussed many important concept like how to factorize a question by taking common number common factor outside you may understood how we can calculate the common factor in all times you no know? okay i already explained the method and we have discussed regrouping process when you can apply regrouping if there exist four times we we can go for regrouping uh, to factorize a question and if regrouping and to take common time outside if both method fails then we can depend upon identities no and we have discussed a few identities for factorization like a plus b all square is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square a minus b all square is equal to a square minus 2ab plus b square and a square minus b square is equal to a plus b into a minus b these are the three identities we have discussed and these are not a new concept for us because in the chapter algebraic expressions and identities we already discussed these identities and Uh, you may understood the last class question. If anyone failed to watch the last video, they must watch that that video before watching this video because that video is uh, comparatively more important than this video because previous video form all the base and through this video we are going to continue continue the discussion of the same type of question which we discussed in the last question. Uh, sorry, last video. That's why I mentioned that the last video is much important than this video. Okay. so through this video video session we are going to continue the discussion of the same type of questions shall we yes do not skip the video okay so let us start today's discussion by discussing this question factorize 6xy minus 4y plus 6 minus 9x and while you are seeing this question you may understood that it consists of how many terms 1 2 3 4 terms it since it consists of four terms let us try to apply regrouping process no let us try for that first okay so i am going to write the terms with the common term together that means i am going to select the terms if two terms having common factor i will select that two terms as a group okay so let me select these two terms because is there any common yes of course y is common y is common in both term no and in 6 and 4 there exist a common factor which is that common factor which is the common factor of 6 and 4 2 is a common factor for 6 and 4 because 2 is a factor of 6 and 2 is a factor of 4 also in that way i understood that 2 is a common factor for this both terms and of course y also a common factor so let me write that two times together 6xy minus 4y okay and can you can i select these two terms as a group of course which is common x is not common because x is here x lies but here x not lies so my question is which is which is common factor for 6 and 9 2 no 2 is not a common factor because 2 is a factor of 6 but 2 is not a factor of 9 then as you are right na 3 is a common factor because 3 is a factor for 6 and 3 is a factor for 9 so 3 is a common factor so of course we can make it as a pair so make it as a group so 6 minus 9x okay so as i mentioned select this as a group and select this as a group i think you are getting me no okay let me ask you one thing which is a common we already mentioned that 2 is a common and y also a common then what will remain inside the bracket who can say if you take 2y from this i am going to take 2y from this time and this time if you are going to take 2y from this time y is already in outside so inside no need to write y but x will remain no x one x will be there because 2 and y came outside y is in outside so x will remain then from 6 we have taken 2 outside so what will remain what is 6 by 2 3 in that way you can identify okay then from minus next sign is minus as it is you can mention you may understood no okay from 4y you have taken 2y from y you have taken y outside so y will not remain there from 4 you have taken 2 so what is 4 by 2 2 Inside two, you can write. If you feel any doubt, once you feel any doubt in this, you can uh, you just go for a mind calculation, mind calculation, and do like this. What is two y into three x? Two into three is six. Y into x is x y. So six x y is coming now. Then what is two y into two? Four y. Four. We are getting four y. If you open the bracket like this by using mind calculation, we will get the same thing. You may understood no? Okay. And from both terms which we can take out, said we already mentioned that three is the term we can take out, said no s. Yes. So just take three out, said 
So what will remain? From 6 you have taken 3 outside. What will be the balance? What is 6 by 3? 2. Then, then minus sign as it is. From 9 you have taken 3 outside. What is 9 by 3? 3. And x also will remain. You may understand. No? But there exists a problem. Who can say that? Who can say that? First term is 2y into 3x minus 2. And second term is 3 into it is 2 minus 3x. But here I already mentioned that in the regrouping process after this step what we should need in the bracket the terms should be equal. Then only we can proceed a one more step. Isn't it? And you may understood no. In order to proceed at least one more step what we have to do or what we are expecting in this bracket both terms should be same here in this bracket isn't it usually we solved problems like that no in the process of regrouping after these steps the terms inside the bracket should be same so we are expecting that but here what happened here inside the bracket it is 3x minus 2 here the inside the bracket it is 2 minus 3x both are different no so I have to make both are same. That means inside the bracket, I have to make the terms are same. Then only I can go for one more step. So what I'm going to do is, I already mentioned that in one question, A minus B, you can write it as minus B minus A. You may understood the reason why I'm going for that. Because inside the bracket, the, the term should be same. Then only we can go for one more step. So there is a rule, A minus B, we can write it as minus of B minus A. Or otherwise, 3 minus 4, we can write it as minus of 4 minus 3. So, 2 minus 3x, you can write it as minus of 3x minus 2. You may understood, no? Yes. Now, you just see. So, the first day mass it is. Okay. First day as it is without any change. Now, you just see this plus and minus will be what? minus this plus and minus will combine and it will the result will be minus then 3 as it is inside the bracket 3x minus 2 now we just see the magic in here inside the bracket 3x minus 2 here also inside the bracket 3x minus 2 okay so this is your first time and this is your second time which is common here also 3x minus 2 is there here also 3x minus 2 is there so you can take easily 3x minus 2 outside so if you have taken 3x minus 2 outside from this time what will remain 2y will remain then this minus then 3x minus 2 is standing outside so only what will remain 3 will remain so this is the answer for the question we have factorized this question or we have expressed this question as something into something this is what is factorization and answer for this question is 3x minus 2 into 2y minus 3 3x minus 2 into 2y minus 3 so this is a standard question please try the same question twice or thrice and understand the method please do that okay See, once I mention, please do that, you have to go for that. At least you have to practice twice or thrice because the problem that um, I'm not teaching in a school environment. I'm not teaching in a class environment. We are not expecting a class environment. We cannot expect like that because Corona is spreading everywhere. So we cannot say that after two or three months, the class will start as usual. I don't think like that. We have to wait for a few more months, like six or seven more months. We have to wait or we have to depend upon this platform. So once I, once I mention that you have to practice in a proper way, you have to practice twice or thrice, you must do that because there is no other way. Let me tell you one thing. Mm, the same question, if I teach in the classroom, the same style I will use. I will not, not use any different style of teaching in the classroom. That means how I used to take class in the school environment, the same way I'm giving the class through this device. Only the difference is that I'm recording the class and I'm giving to your device. That is only one difference. So for us, that is not a big issue. You know? So we can handle because as I mentioned that how I used to take class in the school, same way I'm teaching. So please consider this class as a usual class and please learn pro properly because there is no way in front of this. We have to change according to the situation. This is the current situation. So we have to change according to that. Corona is spreading. There is no other way to or come outside house or uh, we cannot go outside or we cannot go 
school or we cannot um, take classes by using the school environment so this is the only way in front of us so please try to use this chance as a better one shall we go for the next question yes and your next question is factorize p raised to 4 minus 81 what's your question yes next question is factorize p raised to 4 minus 81 this is your question factorize p raised to 4 minus 81 and now we just see the magic so you have some doubts that how we can factorize this question no need to no need to worry about this question this is a simple question i will help you how to understand how to explore this question is there any common in both time no so first confusion is over no <laughs> regrouping is possible no why because we need four times to regroup no so only the possibility is to apply identities so which identity can be used three identities that are there in front of us a square minus b square is equal to a plus b into a minus b the second identity is a plus b all square is equal to a square minus sorry a square plus 2ab plus b square a minus b all square is equal to what a square minus 2ab plus b square and in order to use these two identities we already solved problems by using these two identities no we already solved many problems by using these two identities and we understood that in order to use these three identities sorry these two identities we need at least three terms but here there exists only one term the question i repeat the question consists of three terms those questions only we can factorize by using these identities because these are the two identities with the three terms one two three so that means this question we cannot apply these two identities so this is the only one possibility so in order to apply this identity we have to make some changes in the question let me let me help you p raised to 4 can you write it as p square all square because 2 into 2 is 4 so the entire result will be p raised to 4 that means p raised to 4 i can write it as p square all square no problem 81 can you write it as some number square think about that 81 can you write it as some number square Yes, you can write 9 square because 9 square is 81. So, the same question I replaced or I have rewritten like this. Is there any problem? No. P raised to 4. P square all square. No problem. 9 square is nothing but 81. No problem. But what is the advantage we are getting after writing like this? It becomes in the form a square minus b square this you just think about this as a you just think that i repeat you just think that this p square is your a i repeat you just think that this p square as a and 9 as b then what will happen can you tell me that if you consider p square as a and 9 as b it is in the form a square minus b square it is in the form a square minus b square. But you have to consider p square as a, not p. If you consider p as a, what will happen? p in a are to consider it in a, it is the formula of a square square minus b square formula. Apa p is p in a to consider it. Porathola square in the ulli lola sadhana motham a to consider it. That's the rule. So, it is a to consider it. A square da idina ningal a aayittu consider edal idana a a square da idina a anagil a square minus b square it becomes in the form a square minus b square what is this a square minus b square a square minus b square whenever you see a square minus b square you can write it as a plus b into a minus b so it is in the form a square minus b square so i can easily write it as a plus b into a minus b so i have to write a plus b so what is your a p square plus b what is your b 9 so a plus b is over a plus b is over then into a minus b into a minus b what is your a p square minus what is your b 9 see a plus b into a minus b you may understood no i think you understood so this is a way of factorizing this kind of problem okay so we can go for it actually we can go for one more step but this is enough you may understood no so we have discussed only two questions. This is enough for today's session. I'm going to wind up this video session. 
so please practice at least this two question and you just try to practice the question which we are leaving and if once you feel doubt you just uh, post your doubt in the whatsapp group 18 squadron and uh, by then i think by the next two videos we could complete this chapter i think so let me try to finish this chapter by the next two videos anyhow by the last of february we have to finish mathematics textbook and so this is your shubhinsa signing out stay safe bye